Hey, what's up y'all? It's Adriana and I know I haven't been on here, but it's a good reason why and we will save that for another video. If you're new here, definitely welcome. Everybody that's been hanging along with me all this time, I appreciate you. Thank you. And like I said, let's just get into the video. Um, I'm Adriana and in today's video, we're going to be speaking about a question I get like all the time. Why isn't intermittent fasting working for me? As someone who has lost over 80 pounds, I know firsthand how powerful fasting can be. I know it's frustrating whenever you don't see the results that you're expecting, but no worry. In this video today, we gonna break down the common mistakes and the barriers that are preventing you from your intermittent fasting results. Today, we're going to knock down all the barriers that may be holding you back. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to make intermittent fasting work for you. We're going to take out all the guesswork, so it's no more guessing, just real, real results. So even if intermittent fasting has not been working for you, do not give up. Don't give up. I'm going to help you. If you find any key takeaways from this video, don't hesitate to subscribe, leave me a like, and comment down below for more videos. Alright, so let's get into it. The first one, the first thing that I feel like is, is stopping you from getting your results that you need when intermittent fasting has to be you're eating way too many calories. Just like eating way too much. I know it's easier said than done. When you hungry and those cravings kick in, I already know, like I already know it. So try this, write down what you're gonna eat ahead of time. Make sure you drink enough water and you are eating mindfully and until you satisfy. For me, I use a calorie counter. It's gonna let you know how much you eating and take out any of the guesswork. It's gonna do all the guesswork for you. So in return, you won't be doing all that overeating. Choosing to eat is poor as. Poor as that. And yes, intermittent fasting is more about when you eat and not what you eat. But if you are trying to effectively use intermittent fasting to lose weight, then just like with any other weight loss diet, you definitely have to implement the basics of healthy nutrition. Like your nutrition needs to be on point. Like your nutrition gotta be on point. So for a quick refresher on the basics and what that would look like. You wanna eat more lean protein, uh, consume your whole wheat products like your brown rice, your oatmeal, your whole wheat pasta, your whole wheat bread. Do like quinoa, millet. It's all of your choice. You want to make sure you're eating that. You want to make sure you have your veggies in, your fruits. Cut away all of those unhealthy, super processed snacks like your chips, your candy, your cakes, and sodas and your pies and all like you wanna you wanna start getting that out of your diet especially if you're trying to lose weight with intermittent fasting so this is gonna bring me into number three y'all your fasting window is not realistic it doesn't work for you you want to cuss everybody out you want to slap them then that's not the right intermittent fasting schedule for you Like your fasting schedule has to be one doable over a long amount of time. It, it should not make you hate life. And the third thing, like your fasting schedule has to be one doable over a long amount of time. It, it should not make you hate life. And the third thing should fit into your family life, your work life your exercise routine, and your social schedule. Check in with yourself. Ask yourself, does my intermittent fasting schedule feel good to me? Not a fourth one. It might be simple, but 
you're not getting enough sleep. Your sleepy time is important. When you don't get enough sleep, your body signal is going to be all the way off. When you don't get enough sleep, your body signal is going to be all the way off. You're not going to feel like you normally do and it's going to in return make you eat more. Which all in turn is going to just continuously lead you down the road of eating more than you need to. If you need to, track your sleep. Ask yourself, do I need a little bit of more sleep? And if so, go. Ask yourself, do I need a little bit of more sleep? And if so, go. Set a set a time of the set a set a time of the set a set a time of the day. You in bed maybe thirty minutes to an hour earlier than you normally would. Get more sleep. The fifth one, you skipping too many meals. I know the idea of Eating as little as possible is like the best way to lose weight. And a lot of people fall victim to that. Like there's actually a sweet spot you want to be in when you are cutting back on calories for weight loss. Like there's a such thing as you going way too far and cutting away too many calories out of your diet. Um, and in return, it's going to just have a, a, and a lot of people fall victim to that. Like there's actually a sweet spot you want to be in when you are cutting back on calories for weight loss. Like there's a such thing as you going way too far and cutting away too many calories out of your diet. Um, and in return, it's going to just have a, a negative impact of you want to be in when you are cutting back on calories for weight loss. There's a such thing as you going way too far and cutting away too many calories out of your diet. It's going to cause you to be hungry as I don't know what. Your metabolism going to slow down. Your body going to start burning your muscles for fuel, for energy. And your body can also start storing and holding on to whatever you do eat. It's going to store this fat. And in return, you're going to be like, dang, I'm still not getting results. So like I say, skipping those meals is a no. This is really why you could be struggling with intermittent fasting and why it's not working for you. Like, I know it's hard not to break the fast when you are hungry and those cravings kick in. So try this. This is what you're going to do. During your eating window, you're going to eat until you are full. Make sure you're satisfied. You want to make sure you are fueling your body enough so that it doesn't have to overcompensate in other ways. Number six, you're not drinking enough water. Water is one of the MVPs like for creating a caloric deficit. Like You can check the scientific reviews on it. When you drink enough water, you're going to eat less, feel fuller longer. You're going to drink fewer, less sodas, drink less juice. You're going to increase your, your, your metabolism like by drinking more water. So ask yourself, do I need to drink more water? Like if you need help, like they have a water tracker. I'm just saying, there's a water tracker and it'll help you increase your water intake. Now, which this is bringing me into my last, my last um, reasoning here, y'all. You simply need to give yourself more time. When you start any weight loss journey, like we often set unrealistic expectations. Like we can get frustrated because we think the results should show up faster than they do. Like it's normal. It's, it's normal and we want what we want. And we want it now. It's normal. It's a normal thing. But weight loss takes time, y'all. 
get used to intermittent fasting and eating a diet that's optimized for for weight loss it takes time too if you thinking in your mind why is intermittent fasting not working for me and it's only been a couple of weeks or maybe a month then just hang in there use this video as a guide ask yourself what can you tighten up at and if you find any key takeaways out this video y'all definitely subscribe leave a like share and comment to sum it all up intermittent fasting can be a reliable way to lose weight um he's gonna you're gonna make sure you get enough protein and you're gonna make sure you get enough sleep you're getting the right amount of calories you need you're not overeating you're making sure you're getting your water boosting so you're drinking enough water you're gonna manage your shit stress you're gonna check in on yourself you're not gonna overdo it you're not gonna overeat and you're gonna allow yourself time to learn and implement these key takeaways from this video y'all you're gonna take the time you need you're gonna be kind to yourself and you got support so with that being said let's get into it and if you need like a detailed tutorial video of how to use that that lose it out from start to finish comment down below let me know what's up leave a like on this video share and and I'll make a full-length tutorial video on how to lose, use the Lose It Out.